The ordinarily busy 37 lorry station is, as you can see, virtually empty. The station is now running at an occupancy rate of approximately 30%. And now the drivers are complaining of no food, no water in the area, and that they are suffering because they are not getting any money to take home to their families. Meet Kwesi Amponsa, a driver here at the 37 lorry terminal in Accra. The impact of the lockdown, though very necessary, is visibly telling on Kwesi's business. And like his compatriots, business has almost grounded to a halt. If they say I should stay house, the work I, I work, try the uh, two men to do so, I, I pick the, the money there. But if I didn't work, try that money I put inside there. Uh, the, my house, it will finish. The bustling and busy 37 lorry terminal is now a pale shadow of itself. Shops are closed, street hawkers absent, and the ever present traffic that greeted the vicinity is now missing. For these commercial drivers who ply their trade here, life must go on. They still come to work in the heat of the lockdown, not knowing their fate or what the day will bring. My boys need to be free. I know my mother was stationed here, and yet because of a com, ne juma eni ha. And my mother said, "To kwani kasa bahat ne abane ne she eno di she yese she dem." Se nebe ya obo wan kasa uni pano hong hong bang. Nti wonsu di abana kano yese wonsu eden. Udi su se nebe ya onko ye. And for Eric Apia, a vulcanizer who makes a living from the daily stipend of his business, his only prayer is that coronavirus will be contained soon in order to bring normalcy to his daily life. Like Barista, time, you see plenty of cars parking here, many ties happening here, and I'm working with them. But right now, all of them have parked them cars, so business collapse. Nothing is going on well right now, so business makes slow. The wish of Eric and these commercial drivers here at 37 Lorry Terminal, perhaps, are the same sentiments being re-echoed by many Ghanaians. That as a nation, we must observe the World Health Organization's protocol by washing our hands with soap under running water, the use of hand sanitizers and not touching our faces to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. When these protocols are adhered to, Ghana's fight against this disease will go a step forward and life will return to normalcy. Nanama Anabempong, GH1 TV, Accra.